finding directions. Apart from attracting the magnetic materials, magnets can also help us in finding directions. Let us make such a direction finder for ourselves by performing an activity. Take a bar magnet, put a mark on one of its ends for identification. Now, tie a thread at the middle of the magnet and suspend it from a wooden stand. Make sure that the magnet can rotate freely. Let it come to rest. Mark two points on the ground to show the position of the ends of the magnet when it comes to rest. Draw a line joining the two points. This line shows the direction in which the magnet was pointing in its position of rest. Now, rotate the magnet by gently pushing one end in any direction and let it come to rest. Again, mark the position of the two ends in its position of rest. We find that the magnet again rested in the same direction. Rotate the magnet in other directions and note the final direction in which it comes to rest. We find that the magnet again rests in the same direction. We find that a freely suspended bar magnet always comes to rest in a particular direction which is the north-south direction. The end of the magnet that points towards north is called north pole of the magnet. The other end that points towards the south is called the south pole of the magnet. All magnets have two poles irrespective of their shape. This property of the magnet is very useful for us. For centuries, travelers have been making use of this property of magnets to find directions. In olden days, travelers used to find directions by suspending natural magnets with a thread which they always carried with them. Based on this property of the magnet, a device was developed. It is known as the compass. A compass is usually a small box with a glass cover on it. A magnetized needle is pivoted inside the box which can rotate freely. The compass also has a dial with directions marked on it. The compass is kept at the place where we wish to know the directions. Its needle indicates the north-south direction when it comes to rest.